Coyotes and Canadians facing off for the first time of this season. Leah Hexel alongside Cassie Campbell Pascal. And then the corner between the benches. A quick shot by Yale O'Neill. Leads the way offensively for the Arizona Coyotes. 27 points. Here's Schmaltz. Works his way in. Tries to put it out front. The Travis Boyd now right on the front. Primo with the save. Travis Boyd working his way in. Looking to center. Sends this one down low. Soderstrom will wheel it around the boards to Keller. Now right in front. Boyd takes the shot. He scores! really struggled getting out of their zone and part of it was the inability to change Arizona just kept the pressure on but just a perfect placement there by Travis Boyd you want to be inside that dot a little give and go cycle down low with Keller 12 points in 20 games and they're looking for him to get things going but we have to remember Cass is still a young player Kessel sends it across there's a quick shot and it's in Two to nothing off the stick of a Johan Larson. You can see a giveaway in the neutral zone as Montreal is in a partial change. This is a beautiful play by Phil Kessel. He just stops up, creates some gap between him and the defenseman, and then he finds this perfect scene. You know, there's two Montreal Canadian players there. They're just unable to get their stick on it. And you also think just how great of a goaltender Carey Price has been for Canada, but in a market that's tough to play in. Paling with the shot, turned aside by Vimelka. A lot of pressure. Gothfield will keep this one in and rips it around. Arizona takes over on their own end. They will send this one ahead, but it's back on the stick of Drouin at center. He flips it in. Giving chase on it is Dvorak. Christian Dvorak, very familiar. Right in front to Drouin. Stopped by Vimelka. And if that was able to connect between Suzuki and Anderson, they would have had a wide open net as Vimelka had lost his positioning. Just weren't able to get that pass tape to tape with a little bit of pressure from Arizona's defenseman. And there's a turnover right to Drew, and there's a shot, and they score! And they go down again and attack offensively, and here's the turnover by Soderstrom. He has some time, he just takes a little bit. Duran just overskates it, and Arizona will turn this one around. They send it ahead. There they are, one on one on the backhand. Takes the shot, but Primo with the save. Now out to neutral territory. Here comes Ryan Paling. He has numbers. Caulfield takes the shot just wide. Here's a quick little pass. Pitlick with the shot. It's turned aside. And it will head out of place. So we'll have a quick whistle. Mate to get in on a two-on-one. And here you see it here. He's got two defenders on him. Just move it forward. Win that battle. He does. He gets over to Mosier. Long shot. Primo gets a glove on it. Larson clutch behind the net. Sends it around. Here's Cross up top. Mosier with another shot. Doesn't get through the layers. Back on his stick. Mosier pinching in. Wheels around. Takes the shot. Scores! <laughs> Arizona though just drives through the middle and that's the key to this goal is finding the space Mosier he recognized Josh Anderson's there the, the guy that's supposed to have him he kind of loses his step looking for that rebound after the initial shot Hoffman back up to line drops it off long shots Glick sends this one around there's a shot by Savard Puck now pops loose Romanov will send this one up the gut Oh, trying to take a move there, and Dothan is taken down by Labushkin. The power play. That you were, have had them happen in previous power play seasons. This one just hasn't gone well for them. Savar takes the shot off the post. Glided back for it, taking a look. Montreal begins out. Here's Caulfield. He sends it ahead. Aaron pass, and here they are, shorthanded. It's Keller. He shoots, and Primo with the save. Petrie at the line, just over 30 seconds left on the power play. Over to Juan. He puts it down low. Back to Juan. Little back and forth they go. 
Duran to Petrie. Duran takes the shot and it's in. Redirected in front, and the power play goal has the Canadians within one. It's now three to two. Petrie unable to settle the puck down. Well, he does a nice job at the top, quarterbacking it, fakes the shot. And that brings the Arizona PKs a little bit closer to their net inside the dot, which gives more time for Jonathan Drouin right here. He doesn't get all of this shot, but Palin gets all of it. And a little tip and no chance for Vermelka. Just over two minutes to play here in the second period. Loose puck, trying to get control of it. Both teams bat and away, and they score! Two-goal lead up four to two. But he's out there for a long time. You can see him directing traffic. They're putting a lot of pressure on in the corner on Arizona, swarming them, if you will. But this puck just bounces all over the place, and it ends up right on the stick of Schmaltz. And what an effort there in front as well by Roussel. It's a bouncing puck. He just protects him. Kelly cross ice. Here's Kessel. Puts it on net, right down low, rebound in front, they shovel away, and Primo with the save. Himself look as big as possible, right here it goes off his stick. Oh sorry, Montepo oh. is in, and there you see Ladd gets a potential rebound, Sherratt and Jake Evans with a good stick there. Kessel taking a look now, he puts it up top for Goss to spare. Back to Kessel, over to Keller. Keller takes the shot, and it will direct out of play. Goss to spare with some time, he puts it down low. Now right in front for Keller. Keller thinking about it, takes the shot. Montembeau with the save, and he covers for the whistle. He places this shot is completely different. And this time it goes from Boyd back up to Keller. A little stick handle. Suzuki works his way in on his backhand. He's knocked off the puck. Rogers in on it. As it's work right out in front. Melka with the save. They continue to bang away at it. DeBorg now sends it over to Suzuki. Back to DeBorg. Now here's Schmaltz, he gets it out of his own end, and here we go. Look who it's on the stick of, and he will skate it right in. Clayton Keller gets his goal, and the Coyotes are now 5-2. This one, of course, he's not going to miss, and it's just a battle. It's Nick Schmaltz, with help of his teammate, just puts it to the middle of the ice. He recognizes Keller has the time and the space. And you can see him pointing to his teammates. Just a nice defensive zone play that leads to the empty net goal. Here comes Fisher. He puts the shot on Montembeau. He turns it aside. Ben Sherratt will hold it along the boards. And with that, the buzzer will sound. 